Hi right, guys, current time 4.15 Just leave at 4, St. Martha's is actually on time, surprising We're going to look for a monster tap on Slash Cavalli On the east one side See so what goes This guy Half a moon up there Pressure has to master, but the man on time. You gotta get him on the back? Yeah. We left pretty early because we were going quite down Guaya Goyari side. That's our final destination. Of course, the drive is always a nice, scenic, enjoyable one. Through the coconuts, through some bush, nice, fresh sea air. I mean, this morning was full of Sahara dust, so we didn't get like a nice sunrise or a nice picturesque view. This is our final destination right here, the seawall in Guaya Goyari check it out it's quite an amazing place there's a fishing village further up on screen there and the table is to the far right but we were just fishing in this area here our target was anything from yourself maybe a cavalli maybe a top one whatever we could catch we were going for be it was a struggle here snook master is risking his life to try and catch some more crossing across a lagoon eventually we did get something to eat you'll see what it was pretty good and decent fish um, one of, of course our first stop is always by the way the syrup from ECC we're looking for some fish just this here the adventure starts now it is the come back up yeah, just, just I ain't going nowhere Master just got chased from our nice snook here, so he jumped down there. Let's see if you can catch him. For him to go down, it had to be one of size. We do have the pot on the pan. What size it was, dog? Dog and tail's taking you right here. Why are you throwing so far for? Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh! Shit! You got three bites in the first row. You see it? Yeah, you know, one probably. I see how far it is. Take him right here. Yeah. Yeah. Three bites, yes, eh? Yeah. Three of them play one after the next round. Oh, you see them? Yeah. Three bites, four. That's a good thing, that's not good too, boy. Hello? So, can we call him? I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him. Of course. Alright, okay. Ming! 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 You missed a school and a big mullet there. You get one? Gosh, fool. Shut up. Way boy, just a little. You only jump on a Yes, I saw that. I saw that. Well, they jump right before the net in the water. <laughs> this man is the greatest one. <laughs> no way, no. <laughs> That's a 16 point. J-Lo says like Matt here, we come to check him out. Yeah, about three hits already. But as soon as we come ashore, they go stop. Take it out. Right there and pointing you back
Watch for us. Whee! Missed him. While we were trying to catch top on Snook Master doing the hard job here catching the beat, I got one nice one here. Pilot is after the spot, no? Huh? Pilot is after the spot. Apparently. May I help? Hold it right there, I'll grab the handle. Oh yeah. Oh, I've got a bucket there. Where you got that from? I'm a sick dog, I'm far red. I'm too tired. I hope it's not original red head. Huh? Not original red head. Yeah, get them out two minutes again. No, I can try on this second train. I can try again. I sure. Get them. Yeah. I didn't see anything. Oh, get them out too. Life here to get rid right right of Yeah, go ahead. It makes sense. Two people get wet. They won't catch me. Hey, easy. Pilot River. Definitely changed a lot. So on fishing adventures, you always have some other stuff to do, explore in the outdoors. Always good to be. Check, the, check this ocean. Right now, that's collecting some shells. Not getting anything from my wife, anything special. I'll walk and see. Check this one. Too bad. What, the, what is this? Way. Never got anything like that. Check this. Nice color shells here. This one's the nicest. Just took off the camera, put it back on, so that'd be a real nice one by my shop. Sure, this is a shell. Oyster. Wow, check at this beauty. I've never seen such nice shells anywhere else in Trinidad except on this beach. What the heck? Damn, it's a little crack. So if you're in the shell collecting anything like that, look up Pilot River. Long wire side, come and check it out. Plenty. Have you ever seen a graveyard of shells? Checky big catch, checky big catch. Brave in his life to catch one microscopic mullet. What do you water feeling there? Cold and nice. <laughs> Really cool boy. Sure. Well, that's fat boy. One fish.
guys, you heard Sonny big lines on your laws, just want to catch a fish. Make a power bank in line using a couple of pieces of the mullet. I mean, small fish out there. Just want to pull our fish, you know. Real small bike, boy, wow. Wow. Real small, though. Bite in there. How he even get hooked? <laughs> well, I get out of there. Oh, so cool. I catch a fish. Fish, oh gosh, not so small one time. So as soon as your line hit the water, fight, 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 fight. It's not feeling bigger. I mean, not much bigger, but bigger than the last one. <laughs> you blazing them! Oh lord, how are you pulling that hook boy? She just got up a bit. Oh no, you get With no fish biting, I decided to send the drone just to see how this area looks from the sky. You can see there's a, still a thick haze of Sahara dust over the ocean. Didn't have any bright sunshine on this day. No rain, but just gloomy and overcast. Sending up the drone, you always get a different perspective of where you are. You'll see pretty soon just how vast this expanse of land and coastline reaches. On right at the tip of the screen there, you'll see that's where the table is. And there's a fishing village there at Guaya. There's the old, I believe it's a fish market there, not too sure. And there's the wall where we were fishing. You see the waves crashing into it, it's on a high tide wave splash over. I send the drone just to check out the scenes in the fishing village. You can see the number of boats just parked up there. This bay is totally different from that on the other side of Mayaro and Manzan, where it's much, much rougher.
can see the expanse of the coast as I head down this way seeing how far a drone could go. I didn't want to send them too far because the breeze was pretty strong but still going a pretty good distance. You can see it kind of forms like a cliff-like shoreline because that's where the waves have been bashing into the shoreline eating away eating away at the sand and the trees. Uh, it looks pretty cool pretty epic. Some stumps in the water there. I'm not sure if that was tree stumps or previous um, posts for boats. But you can see the coast just goes on and on. The water color is also a kind of brown, dinge, tingy green. And these were Jalo and Snookmaster were fishing. They actually caught quite a few small fish, some small cavalli, some catfish. I didn't get anything on the GoPro because I was fishing all distance from them. Here yeah, Snookmaster is making his way back carefully. It's just about that time to go home. Funny thing, while I was flying this drone, I think I got the only bite on my big rod. So when I get to pick it up, fish on. I see my line come quite here. Yeah. A big one, boy. I see your line pulling. Yeah. <laughs> I see my line all here, so I see what the hell it had or something on it. When you dry it rapid, you feel the pull back. It will stick up there and pull and I pull so I keep something pull back. I see what the hell and I see the fin come out of the water. Nice fish for that big one. Nice fish dog. Food dog. Yay! Do I need MT yet? Yes. I think I'm done. Yeah, real life, where you go? That was real, but I really see all that and it's thing coming, so right? Yeah, yeah. So where do you swim up here? Yeah? Swim up there. Freaking gilbaka, yes. Is it? Circle up to yes? Come right to the corner. Yeah. You got a picture for me? Food to eat, boy. Nice no, is it? So we are painting now. A fire truck. Righty. But I cut the bait in half, and you see, you take it. This stuff for salt, some of our two minutes, right? Who? For salt. My brother. Heavy boy. Big cat boy. Hmm. Heavy man, take it back. I don't think so. When you see him, any wave? Up there, out in the wave. You know that catfish out there? Yeah, I see it. Alright, guys, the last clip you saw me pull up a nice big catfish by the seawall, but now I'm back home because we was gonna fish on next spot, but when we was going, had people, so we had to end up about in our mission. Come home straight, stop in the grocery, get some snacks. I'll go and clean up the catfish. Came out right here. Nice catfish. To me, this is premium catfish caught in the ocean sea catfish well it's over two feet long because he's longer than the cooler the cooler is 24 inch to 20 inches 20 inches there is a smaller one so 20 here is about a two feet long six and six point four pounds six and a half pounds catfish is one of my favorite fish favorite fish to eat i said it's premium caught from the sea i prefer this over kingfish probably over carry too the only problem with this is getting a good fillet so i'm gonna try my best and I'll show you hopefully how I cook them afterwards. So the mission was not a total fail. We get fish to eat. I'll get them fellas when I cook it up for them and get them some. Get some small fish, but overall, any fish I catch is always a bonus. When they go down on that side, always an enjoyable experience. So I'm gonna clean up this fish. Next um next you might see my in the kitchen when I'm cooking it sometime. So thanks for watching. Keep fishing. Fish on. So all here is hard like a rock. Up until about here, these fins very dangerous you're trying to avoid that at all costs so you can take the fillet from about here straight down as best as we could we trying
Come on, sir, teach Alright guys, now we're back home from the trip down Guaya. You saw us in the trip, the fishing was a bit of a struggle. We, in the last minute, we ended up catching a real nice gilbaka of catfish, a nice big one, about six and a half pounds. A real nice bonus catch. Now I love to eat catfish. Look, reason why. Look at this meat here. To me, that's prime quality. I prefer catfish over kingfish or carry to many other fishes. Yeah, you might knock me for that, but this meat right here is quality. And this catfish come from the sea, even better. So today, make a, well, I'll come back home, I'm hungry, and make a quick dinner, some blackened catfish fillet with some potatoes, and we're good to go. Go fishing, catch a fish, cook it, you get your meal. It's gonna take a couple of minutes, just seasoning both sides, put it on high heat on some avocado oil, sand it off, and that's it, this catfish done. And look at this meat now, man. Like I say, I love to eat catfish. Can't go wrong. So let me prepare it for you. A little bit tired, a little bit hungry. So we're going to do this quick. Catch and cook catfish. Gilbaka. Check it out. Alright, so to make this blackened catfish, we have our catfish of course. Check it out. The little meat is look real best. Can't go wrong with that. Look at that now. No fish could compare to in my opinion. We have some avocado oil because we're going on the high heat. The only seasoning we're using, some Cajun seasoning. It has salt in it. You can add more salt if you want and some garlic powder because I just love garlic powder. Let's go and season the fish on both sides. Put the oil in the pan, get it nice and hot, cook that fish. Let's go. Add with some garlic powder. Yeah, I really like garlic powder, so I've got heavy on that small thing. The Cajun have the salt. So, do you how much you wanna put? Both sides we're going with. One side of the one piece of fish, I'll take it on the next, so we just have to cook that one for a little longer. But obviously, all right, just massage that in there. A lot of people like to fry catfish, which I like as well. So, all the other catfish I have from this fish will be fried. Hoping to make some fish tacos, get on all the sides of the fish here. Right, so this should be well seasoned here. So let this sit for a couple of minutes. We're gonna put it in the pan and cook it off. So that's what it looks like. Well seasoned. Just to cook it. Alright, so we're cooking in avocado oil for this because you need to get high heat to get a sear on the outside. Medium heat. Let's cover the base of your pan. Should be good to go. Yep. Yeah, Alright, so bigger piece going in first. to lock in that flavor one time. <clears throat> Maybe a couple minutes on either side. This thick piece might have to go a couple of flips, but you don't know when it cooks through. See that little cross form in there? That's what we want.
Okay, so maybe after about two minutes on each side. Pretty big side again for one more flip. It should be just about done. So, quick cook like that, catfish, good to go. Hey guys, and just like that, our flattened catfish is done. Take a look at that, looking real good. Quality meat. Took about five minutes to cook. Avocado oil, high heat sear, season on the outside, and that's it. Couple minutes on the side, and done. And trust me, this meat might be as close to chicken as you could probably get on a fish. Nice, dense, solid, no fishy taste, and tastes excellent. So we'll give it a try. Guys, of course, you know, we must give this catfish a taste. Still steaming hot, but I just had to cut into it, show you the fish itself. Check that. Tell you, can't go wrong with a nice catfish. Smell that. Better, kingfish, carried, plenty of fish. Texture, take the seasoning real good. No fishy taste. If you never tried catfish before, I highly recommend it. Stacey can better fry, you can do it anyhow you want. Blackened catfish with some potatoes, you can't go wrong. Go fishing, catch a fish, cook a fish, you have dinner. You're good to go. i get one more piece for good order's sake. So thanks for also watching guys, keep fishing, catch a fish, cook a fish, fish on, cook on, till the next one. And another catfish. This catfish eats another catfish. You can see there's a catfish. And it had a crab as well. And you still take my meat. So this catfish ate another catfish. And you had a crab in it. And you take my meat. And this is what I would think of more from More pieces of catfish. Cat eating catfish. Enjoy yourself, brother.